2006 Lexus GX 470 alternator replacement. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'm going to walk you through the steps of replacing that. We're going to get started by disconnecting the negative battery cable. So I put my vehicle up on the hoist. If you guys are doing this at home, you can jack it up over here on the frame. Use floor jacks and jack stands. So now I'm going to remove the lower skid plates by removing the bolts here on the front of the nose on the plastic parts and then there's some 12 millimeter bolts on the front that you're going to remove and then there's going to be a couple 12 millimeter bolts in these two cavities here that you're going to remove and here okay now that you've got the shield off on the uh, passenger side here you can see the alternator and we're going to focus on unplugging the electrical connector and the main power feed off of it and if you look above the axle here you can reach around the back here and you can reach around back and unplug this connector and then right here you can pop this little plastic cover off and take the bolt off that holds the main uh, battery feed to it. Remove that. Also after you disconnect the connector here and the main ba uh, battery feed here, if you follow it down there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt that's bolted to the alternator to hold the wiring plume on there. So you want to go ahead and take that bolt out too. Now that we got the wires disconnected, the next step is going to be to remove the drive belt. And I'm going to use my mountain wrench. It's a 14-12 combination wrench. It's about 18 inches long. I'll put it onto the tensioner here and we'll rotate it counterclockwise and that'll release the tension and you can slip the belt off. To get the alternator out of the car we need to remove the sway bar. So we're going to remove the 14 millimeter bolts here and then we're going to remove them on the driver's side too. Remove those two and then the sway bar will swing down out of our way. Now with the sway bar unbolted and swung down as you can see there's plenty of room now to get the alternator out of the car. So right here is the AC line and we're going to remove the bolt from the bracket and that'll give us a little bit of play so we can maneuver the alternator out and also we're going to disconnect the transmission cooler line. We're going to remove the 10 millimeter bolt there. Now we've got the, the lines disconnected there's plenty of room to maneuver these around. So next step is to remove the bottom bolt from the alternator and just above that is a 12 millimeter bolt that we're going to remove. And then above that, a little further up, is the 14 millimeter uh, nut that we're going to remove. So now after getting the bolts out, once you go to slide the alternator forward and off, it's going to make contact with the power steering pump pulley. So we need to take the pulley off. And the way I did that was I took a, a um, 6 inch extension and I slid it through the pulley like that. And then I rotate the pulley counterclockwise until the extension jams inside of it like that. Next I will put a 17 millimeter wrench on the on the end of the uh, pulley here. So I'm going to be using my 1917 combination wrench made by Mountain. I'll link this up in the description. Having these wrenches can make your life a lot easier. So with the extension jammed inside the pulley and rotated counterclockwise you can use the wrench to loosen up the nut. Now that you got the nut off you can just wiggle the pulley a little side to side action and then the pulley will work itself off like this and you can pull it all the way out but what I ended up doing was just pushing it up above and just kind of just wedging it up there now the alternator is free so you can wiggle it and pull it off the stud so pull it towards you and now the alternator will start coming down and out of the car you'll have to maneuver the uh, AC line and the hoses and out of your way kind of just pry them with your hands and just push them as far out of the way as you can and you can work the alternator out so I'm going to be using a Denso replacement alternator. I'll link this up in the description. That way if you need to pick one up, you can get that. So now we're ready to put the alternator back in and we'll just push it back through the gap that we took it out of and you'll have to maneuver the hoses out of the way. Once you get the alternator back into position and over the studs, you can start the 14 millimeter and 12 millimeter bolts and torque them down. The 14s are torqued down to 26 foot-pounds, the 12 is 16. Now we're going to reinstall the power steering pulley and you're going to make sure that you put it back on the same way you took it off. Before we put the nut back onto the power steering pulley, I'm going to use some blue thread locker made by Permatex. And uh, that's, it's a little glue to help prevent the bolts from vibrating loose and backing off. So I'll link this up in the description of the video also. Now that I got the nut started, I got a sit extension jam back through the pulley and rotate it clockwise until it stops. And then I'll use my 1917 uh, combination wrench 
and I'll apply pressure on it and tighten the bolt. So now we're ready to put the belt back on. So I printed out a diagram of how the belt routed. That way if you guys got it all mixed up, you can figure that out. This is courtesy of all data. Using my combination wrench, I torqued the to uh, tensioner over to the left and slipped the belt on. Then I double checked that the belt is on all the pulleys and grooves. Now we can take the transmission cooler lines and put them back into the bracket and put the 10 millimeter bolt back in and bolt it up. And we'll also do the same for the AC line in the front. We'll resecure the bracket and bolt. Now we're going to take the electrical connectors and we're going to plug them back in. We'll start with the battery main feed, reach around, route it around the back. So looking from the back towards the alternator, we're going to reach over the axle and plug in the electrical connector. And then we're going to take the wire loom and put the little 10 millimeter bolt back into the alternator. And we'll also bolt up the electrical connector to the main feed. Now after bolting up the main power feed and not over tightening it, being careful not to over tighten it, I snapped on the plastic cover and you just line it up and just push it on with your fingers. Now you're going to lift the sway bar back into position and tighten up all four of the bolts. After the sway bar is bolted up, you can lift the skid plates back into position and tighten the bolts up. Now you can reconnect the negative battery cable and start the vehicle and I recommend you double check the charging system with a voltmeter and that will complete the job of replacing the alternator on a 2006 Lexus GX470. I'm Brian Essex from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I encourage you to head over to the HowToAutomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this and also to remind you that I will be linking up all the parts and tools that are used in this video. I'd like to thank you again for watching.